welcome everybody and Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Christmas Father. Father. This is a little different than what we are used to doing. But anyway, by our being together here, I think it's wonderful. In a sense, isn't this a little bit of the way we think of Jesus being born, uh, not in some you know, great cathedral or something like that, but just very humbly. And uh, so, we are here with him and blessed by him. And may God receive the prayers of our heart. And may God's loving grace in the birth of Jesus come to us and help us in our personal lives in every way that we need. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. may God be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. As brothers and sisters in our Lord, we are very much aware of our weakness and our failings and our need for God to come and help us. And so we ask God to forgive us for our failings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words and what, what I have done and what, what I have failed, failed to do. And I am through my, my fault through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
we remember in our prayers the Norbertine community, which has served from the beginning and until this time and throughout the future in a beautiful and wonderful and sharing way, the Norbertine community. Let us pray. O oh God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings mm -hmm. the tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, your God is king. Hark, your sentinels raise the cry. Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes, the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord comforts his people. He redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. be to God. Today, has been born. to us. Christ the Lord. Christ the Lord. Jesus Christ the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in, par in partial and various ways 
to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things, and through whom we create, he created the universe. Who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word? When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took a seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels. As the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which the angels did God ever say, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, and spirit. with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him. And without him, nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Thank you, Deacon John. I had a dream last night, and uh, in that dream, I was in Bethlehem. And I was there at the nativity site. And I saw baby Jesus in the manger. 
And he opened his eyes. And he looked. And he saw his mother wearing a mask. <laughs> and Joseph. And the shepherds. And the sheep and the donkey. And I thought, I maybe heard him say, oh, Father, take me back home. <laughs> I mean, who would expect a Christmas like this one? Oh, how, how different it is. We think of Christmas, which is the birthday of Jesus, as being the greatest birthday that ever was. I mean, think of that. The birthday of Jesus was celebrated in Bethlehem and St. Peter's Square at the Vatican and the greatest cathedrals and places throughout the world. And here, today, with us at our little parish church, even though we can't get into it yet, but here, St. Thomas More and Irvine. What a birthday to be celebrated throughout the world. No one has this. Well, thinking of my own birthday, I've had 76 of them. The first ones, I'm, I don't remember a thing. <laughs> but I just presume that uh, there was a birthday for me in those days. And then there were birthdays afterwards that I, some of them I remember. But you know what? After my 39th birthday, I went into denial. <laughs> and it's kind of stayed that way. And my last birthday celebration, I was telling myself, Age is just a number. <laughs> and who's counting anyway? Well, Jesus' birthday today is over 2,000 years. Two th over 2,000 years. We don't know exactly the day that Jesus was born. We don't exactly know the year, but we're pretty close in determining when that was. But still, we know it was over 2,000 years ago. And on a Christmas day, I think of, of baby Jesus. I don't think of him as being 2,000 years old. What an ancient baby Jesus we celebrate today. And yet, in imagining what that might be, I think of Jesus with a birthday cake. It's his birthday today. Can you imagine 2,000 candles <laughs> on a birthday cake? I'm thinking about, you know, who would light those candles? My God, by the time they got to the last one, all most of the earlier ones would have burned out. But this is Jesus not like anybody else. And I kind
kind of imagine him with that gigantic birthday cake with all of those candles on it. And I know in my heart that he could blow them all out at once. Because, as we know from the scriptures, he is the one who commands the winds and the sea. world we live in. Of course he could do that. When somebody has a birthday and they have that cake and candles in front of them, they are supposed to make a wish. Make a wish. This is your day. We celebrate your day. This is your cake. These are your candles. Blow them out, but make a wish. Make a wish. I can't help but thinking and reflecting on this day that Jesus' very private wish, his hope, his prayer, would not be just for himself or his uh, immediate things around him, but Jesus making his wish includes me, how could that be? And you, how could that be? Jesus includes us in his prayer, in his wish, on his birthday. But Jesus has said to us, to us, I have come to you that my joy may be yours and your joy may be complete. Oh my gosh. Jesus is saying and praying for us the same thing we are praying for ourselves. We want, we want to keep going and hoping that things will continue to progress for what is best and that our happiness and our joy may be, may be made complete. In thinking about Jesus' birthday, all birthdays have involved with them, many of them anyway, most of them, a sense of gift. Give a gift to the birthday one. But the most amazing thing for us to reflect on on Christmas Day is that the gift is given to us. God, our Father, gives us the gift of Jesus, our Savior. Do we need a savior? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think the pandemic that we are going through right now is one of many examples of how we cannot control all the problems and difficulties that come into our lives and in our world. Yes, I love technology. I love science. I love all those things that are looking for answers. But I am so much aware of how humble we are in this vast universe and life that we live that yes, we rejoice in all the discoveries and all the solutions that we find to our problems. But it really strikes me that there is an infinite amount more 
that we still need, hope for, and pray to understand. We don't make it in our lives in this world alone. Not by ourselves. We can't figure it all out on our own. We can't save the world in which we live in. We can't even save ourselves. And so humbly, we recognize that gift that our Father in Heaven has given us, which is Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. We're not alone. God is with us. We don't have to face all the things that happen in our life, the things that concern us so much, by ourselves. Today is Emmanuel, Jesus born to us, God with us. God is with us in our anxiety. And we have that. Our worries. Our worries about how can it be that in the circumstances we live in, we can still make it? How are we going to be able to pay our mortgage, pay our rent? How are we going to keep our jobs and run our businesses? How is it that we are able to continue without all of this collapsing around us? I mean, this gets, this is the pandemic scare that we are living in. It's the world that we are living in at the moment. We never expected that things would ever turn out be, to be like this. In history, people didn't think that uh, scary plagues would come about and be with them and take away so many of them. That at a time where they didn't even have the, the scientists and the professional people who were able to try to work on these things and figure out a way, like a vaccine, to you know, end this kind of trouble. Our anxiety. Our anxiety about the people we love and care about so much in our lives. We're not just worried about ourselves, we worry about them because they are part of us. Our children the choices they make. We're not worried about that. Are we not prayerful about that? Hoping that it will all it will all work out and be for the best. Are we not anxious about our own personal lives? Our spiritual lives. We've had doesn't seem like so long, but we've had so much of our own life. How long is it going to take for our spiritual lives to be totally pleasing to God? We're still working on that. We still have an anxiety about that. We have in our lives fear. But today tells us that Emmanuel, God is with us in our fear. Our fear to be embarrassed. Our fear about failures in our life. Our fears about what other people think about us 
our fears about what other people might do to us. Jesus is God with us, Emmanuel, to be with us in our fears, to encourage us, to lift us up above all that, and to encourage us to keep going in spite of all those kinds of things our own failures, the failures of others, the failures failures of the world in which we live. The, when will all this end? When will it all be better? Jesus, God, is with us in our physical suffering. I think all of us have a mental suffering, which is probably also physical, but Sometimes it will happen to ourselves and to others in our lives that they will have real physical pain. In Jesus, it isn't just suffering. In Jesus, it has purpose. that we are a part of at that time and experience in our life. And in Jesus, we have the guarantee that it will end. It will not always be that way. We live in hope. We live in promise. We live in Jesus. Of course, our lives are not all pain and suffering. Our lives are filled with so many blessings and reasons for us to be happy and to be joyful. And this is one of those days, one of many, but one of those special days. In Jesus, there is a season for everything, the joys and the sorrows, all those things. Today, we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, God's gift to us. We are never alone in trying to figure out how we can get over the difficulties in the world and our life. We are never alone. Emmanuel, God is with us. God is with us today in our joy, in our being together as families and friends and loving one another. Jesus is with us in our song in our prayer, in our celebration of the birthday of Jesus our Lord. His presence among us, our Father's gift to us, is the gift of hope, the gift of peace. Merry Christmas to all of you. Please stand for our profession of faith. I believe, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, he got not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and he rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray for ourselves. We pray for one another as we gather on this Christmas day. Let us offer together our petitions to our Heavenly Father, to our Lord, seeking His grace and His help in all those things that we need and that we pray for others. For the Holy Church of God throughout the world, that as she celebrates the birth of Christ, she may grow in holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of the world, that they all work toward lasting peace and justice and an end to the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For refugees and aliens, for homeless people and unwed mothers, that in them we may see the image of Mary and Joseph and recognize the face of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For family and friends near and far, for the hospitalized and homebound, that the good news of Christmas may be for all the dawn of light and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us gathered at this Christmas feast, that, like Mary, we may ponder God's word in our hearts and bring forth Christ into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who are ill, may they feel the hands of Jesus heal them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have gone before us in death, may they rejoice in the presence of Mary's child, Jesus, who saves the people from their sins. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty Father, we, we thank you for the gift of the presence of our Lord Jesus, your word made flesh in our life. May his presence, his spirit, lift us up and help us to grow and to become what is pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our offering on this solemn Christmas day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim together. found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. history of our faith. <laughs> As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Thomas More, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray Our for Father. ourselves and for one another. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Johnny. Thank you. Peace be with Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world.
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world born this day is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We have a few announcements. On behalf of both priests, deacons, and staff here at St. Thomas More, we would like to wish all of our parishioners and visitors a very Merry Christmas. Our schedule of Masses for this coming weekend, December 26th and 27th, returns to our normal Mass schedule. Please see the bulletin or website for details. Just a reminder that there will be no reconciliation this Saturday, December 26th. The regular drive up, walk up reconciliation will return Saturday, January 2nd, from 12 to 2 p.m. It has been a challenging year for all of us. And we want to thank all of those that have been able to make financial contributions to the parish during this time. If you are able, please continue making your financial offerings here at Mass in the donation baskets or online through our parish website or even by mail. Please make sure to check our parish bulletin or website for further scheduling details and other announcements. Thank you. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined, illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of evil and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. 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 May God who willed that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel. Fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make, your her make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. 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 And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gifts of his peace and favor and make you sharers of the church in heaven. Amen. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.